The Tango 2 trial was a trial comparing Vebamer, which is a new uh, beta-lactam, beta-lactamase inhibitor combination, which is meropenem plus Vebabactam, against best available therapy in the treatment of patients with um, suspected or documented CRE infection or carbapenem, uh, res carbapenem resistant enterobacteriaceae. Um, this was a trial that was uh, done while our, after our NDA uh, was submitted and, and continued through the uh, NDA uh, review. We did this trial to really get experience in using this drug in a target patient population for which, frankly, this drug was really developed uh, for. The trial was uh, conducted as patients with suspected or documented CRE infection were randomized to receive either Vebamer as monotherapy, meaning that it was used alone, versus what's known as best available therapy. And best available therapy was uh, individual, uh, clinician individualized therapy based upon microbiology, based upon other clinical conditions that the physician and uh, investigator chose to, uh, to treat them. We conducted that trial, enrolled 72 patients within that study, of which 43 uh, of those patients had documented CRE infection. And what we found in that trial is that patients who received Vebermer uh, compared to best available therapy had a better clinical response rate at the test of cure as well as end of therapy uh, visits. They also, in the subset of patients who had HAP, VAP, or bacteremia, there was actually a reduction in mortality in patients who received uh, Vebamer compared to best available therapy. Also, because of the fact that many of the drugs that are used as part of the best available therapy currently right now uh, are nephrotoxic, drugs like aminoglycosides and polymyxins, there was actually a reduction in uh, nephrotoxicity in the patients who received Vebamer compared to best available therapy. So overall, what we found was, is in fact, there was uh, better efficacy as well as uh, better safety when patients receive Vebamer compared to best available therapy.